Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am author E.W. Barnes and today I'm sharing with you one of the ways that I refill my creative well which is by playing Minecraft. And so I thought I'd take you on a tour of my Minecraft world and you can see what I do when I get stuck on plot points or want to think about character development or where I want to go next in a story, I will come here and sometimes just taking the time to build something can help uh, trigger new ideas and uh, point me in the right direction. So welcome to my world and let me show you what I have here. So this area right here is the spawn area and as you can see I have a number of uh, teleport buttons that take me to different biomes so I have um, a, a build started in the bamboo jungle but I'm gonna have to continue to work on that so I can do maybe down the road a video showing some work on that I've got a lush caves uh, site that I discovered I've got a build in a coral reef several builds in a birch forest and desert several near and around a flowered forest a um, couple in an ice spikes biome, couple in the jungle biome, a um, couple in a mega taiga, even got a build on an iceberg, which I'd be happy to share with you guys. Uh, builds on uh, Mesa. There's only one build on the mushroom island. It's just a place for me to sleep if I need to. Um, build in the roof forest, a couple of builds on the savanna, a couple of builds in and around sunflower plains. Same with the swamp. I did find a woodland mansion. Um, as well as a taiga mansion. That's kind of cool. It's a woodland mansion, but it's right next to a taiga and it's really neat location. And some dripstone caves, if I ever need to go to a dripstone cave, don't have a build there yet. And then I'm also working on a build called the Grotto. Uh, but today what I want to do is share with you a build that I call Farm Island. So let's uh, head on in that direction. You can see there's a sign there. And yes, I do have a nether portal and I have a build in the nether. I'm not crazy about the nether so I don't really spend a lot of time there but uh, I do have a build there just to give it a try and if in case you're wondering I do uh, build in creative mode I don't build in survival though you will see mobs I have you know the dangerous mobs do spawn uh, there was a skeleton here earlier but I guess he despawned um, but I prefer to build in creative and play in creative though it is set up to play in survival if I choose to so let's uh, head off to Farm Island. So here we are. Uh, this path goes all the way to Farm Island. And um, I probably will come back and redo this path. I want to redo the spawn area. I. Uh, a lot of the builds that I do are inspired by other YouTubers. YouTubers who are so incredibly oh there's one hello mr. zombie couple of zombies um, there are so many incredibly talented minecrafters on YouTube and I'm very grateful to the ones who offer tutorials for for example this path leads to a build that is based on a tutorial offered by a minecrafter called Zaypixel. I love her work and I will put a link to her YouTube channel um, in the comment section below because you should really check it out there's some amazing builds there. Another one that I'm very um, interested in is a minecrafter named Wax Fraud who does beautiful builds. The tree is so weird looking. I have to fix that. Um, and I'm thinking about doing something inspired by a Wax Fraud build in the spawn area. I'll put a link to his channel in the uh, comment section below so that you can check out his builds because they're extraordinary. He also does very cool paths so maybe I will redo this path um, along the lines of what he does. Oh hello Mr. Enderman off in the distance. So here we are we're coming up on Farm Island and Farm Island is exactly what it sounds like. It's an island. I actually did um, pick what was a peninsula and then turn it into an island, break out all the uh, dirt, turn it into an island so that the animals would stay um, on the island and, you know, always be here. 
And the idea behind Farm Island is that if I were to play in survival mode, I would have this space to store things and farm, get the necessary you know, tools and equipment that one needs in order to function in a survival world. Um, so you can see this is a full island. I've even got horses up here. And all the animals that you would need in order to collect the eggs, collect the milk, collect meat, collect wool for functioning in survival mode. And there is another path off the island and this actually takes you to one of the biomes that you can either teleport from in the spawn area in Rose Landing, which is the name of that spawn area, or you can walk to it from here. It's a bit of a walk, but you can still get there um, during a uh, Minecraft day. You don't have to spend the night anywhere. So this was a build that I started very early on. Um, as a matter of fact, when you go in, you'll see that I'm using netherrack for fire. Uh, this was before the Minecraft update that brought campfires into Minecraft. I love the campfires. I will probably come in here and replace the nether rack with campfires because I think they function better. And I often, you'll see these in a lot of my builds, I like sitting in minecarts because you are at a different perspective when you're sitting in a minecart and you can sit and enjoy the fire and look out the window in a different perspective than if you uh, were just standing in the Minecraft world. Uh, it's got an upstairs where the bed is so when I need to sleep um, I've got that in place. I'm going to change out this um, brick I think. This is a very early build and I have since learned some really cool build techniques that uh, you'll see later on in other builds. So here's the storage space and you can see the nether rack. Um, and so this is essentially what uh, it exists on Farm Island. I also have a recently built uh, storage area over here. So it's some underground storage so again if in survival mode and you needed to store all this stuff or have all these crafting options, you have them available to you in this storage unit. And there's plenty of room to do more storage and even uh, do some kind of a sorting system if I really wanted to get into the redstone and, and go nuts with that. So this is Farm Island and uh, it's the first place I wanted to share with you. Now, if you would like to um, see a different biome. Um, let me know in the comments below. I am more than happy to continue exploring in the direction that I, um, you know, whatever strikes my fancy. But if there's a biome you'd like to see and the builds that you'd like to see I've, that I've done in those biomes, uh, you want to see that first, go ahead and make a comment um, below and uh, we can start there. And that brings us to the end of the tour. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope that uh, you enjoyed this tour and I will continue to share my Minecraft world. Again, it is the source of my uh, filling of my creative well. And it's something I really enjoy doing uh, for fun. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. Thanks for being here. See you next time.